Anthropology professor Lucas Delazine became a part of history earlier this month when he and other scientists from around the world discovered fossils from a new species of human ancestor. I had the chance to talk to Delazine and hear the impact it's making on his research. We have lots and lots and lots and lots of teeth. Fossils of the new species named Homo naledi were discovered in the Rising Star Cave in South Africa. Delazine was just one of about 40 scientists who spent much of the past two years analyzing the specimen that was uncovered. As I always tell my students, fossils don't come with labels on them. So when they come out of the ground, there's no label on it that says, I am from this species. Over 1,500 fossils were found at Rising Star, including hands, legs, and jaws. While Delazine focused on the teeth, the team worked together to conclude that all of the fossils were unlike anything that had been previously found. The scientists are now using the material to find out what the Homo naledi ate and how it lived. So that's the kind of stuff that's really exciting, that we can use teeth, you know, to reconstruct the, the paleobiology of these extinct animals. After returning from South Africa to teach Introduction to Anthropology this fall, Delazine informed his students about the findings. He hopes that learning of his experiences will hide the fears students have towards science. Students say that Delazine's experiences have given them a new view towards the subject. All the history that we're going over in class right now is actually happening right now and they're learning new things about it right now, so it's very cool. Delazine says that while the fossils are a great discovery, he wants to use them to reach the local community. What's important for me is to use this as a mechanism to communicate to my students and to the public here in Arkansas more broadly, you know, that we're doing great research here at the University of Arkansas. Hopefully, you know, we can use this as a way of, you know, educating some of our students in basic science. When asked how long Delazine plans to study these fossils, he said, forever. For UATV, I'm Anna Johnson.